Genic, ingenious supplies. What's up, Spikes? Jim here coming at you from Spike Peters HQ. Uh, today, we're back. We're playing CDH. I'm excited. You guys excited? Hey. Elliot hasn't filmed with us for three months. So I'm actually really excited. excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's kind of sweet. It's me. like a nice Sunday morning, and we're all just hanging out, you know, having our coffee, and uh, we're going to play some CDH today. Before we get into it, though, I want to thank our awesome channel sponsor, GameGenic. They are the ones who supplied all the cool stuff behind us, as well as these mats, these sleeves, these bastions that you're going to see us crack into in just a minute. Uh, they're a real big help for running this channel, and uh, we super appreciate them. So go show them some love on social media, and uh, let them know that uh, we sent you. Uh, I think we can probably get right into it, though. Uh, I'm going first in turn order today. Uh, like I said, I'm Jim, and I'm playing Evelyn the Covetous. This is a deck I've never played before. I actually sleeved this deck up a few months ago and then totally forgot that I sleeved it up. <laughs> uh, it's a, a World Gorger Dragon deck. It runs lots of ad nauseum. It's, it goes real fast. It uses Evelyn as the outlet for World Gorger Dragon loops. Um, if you want to know more about World Gorger Dragon loops, we've got a, a love of thing in the thing to uh, explain all about that. You can hear Ryan from Playing With Power's Dulcet Tones explain that one to you. Ooh, that's actually really interesting. Mm -hmm. huh. I don't know how he remembers all of the uh, better knows we've done and stuff, but it's because I've edited all of them. <laughs> he's, just, he's just like got them on deck when he plays a deck that has the combo. He's just like, oh, you can check this one out. You can check this one out. I'm yeah. like, amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy how many of those we got. But in any case, my name is Alex, and today I'm once again on Heliod Sun Crown. This is Heliod Ballista combo. So what I'm going to be looking to do is finding either Walking Ballista or Triskelion using Heliod's ability on them to give them lifelink, removing a counter to deal a damage. But first and foremost, I want to say, folks, what I'm really looking to do today is just disrupt Jim. I don't want to get World Gorger Dragoned. I remember that video, and that seemed complicated, and I don't want to deal with it. So, Jim. Hope you're ready to do that on turn one. I am. <laughs> uh, I'm Elliot. I'm back, like Jim said. I haven't, uh, probably hasn't felt like it to you guys. Yeah, I don't know if you notice these types of things, but it's actually been quite a while since I filmed. I've been a wall for a bit, so I'm I'm very excited to be back and uh, showing Jim who the real World Gorger Dragon deck is, because I'm playing Crocs, the Titan of Death's Hunger. Um, some might not think this is a real CEDH deck, and to that I say, you're right. <laughs> it's probably not good, but Black and Red has gotten a lot of really cool stuff in um, some recent sets, Ragavan, Orcish Bowmasters, that I think will help it, uh, you know, kind of keep at the table. And yeah, I'm trying to World Gorger, just like Jim, but without... Felt blue. Arguably a really good color, yeah. But uh, you just know, just to show how long Elliot hasn't played with us, he's like some new new cards that we got, like Rag. <laughs> <laughs> look, it's been a long time since I played the deck too. It's uh, <laughs> don't don't look up when that card came out. I'll, my bones, my bones are dust. Yeah, okay, Grandpa. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm Aaron. I'm playing Talion the uh, Kindly Lord today. Uh, it's pretty uh, very different than everyone else. I'm playing a pretty standard blue black control list uh, with. Uh, really uh, boring, fast historical lines. But uh, yeah, I'm looking to take advantage of Talion as a maybe different heuristic study in the command zone and then leverage other cards that try to, you know, tick away at my opponents over time with stuff like Shoulder of the Apocalypse, uh, the other in chat, Blood Chief Ascension, those type of things. Cards I like a lot of that only seem to see play in this deck. So I've liked this deck a lot since it came out and I look forward to playing it again. All right. Well, uh, I think we've uh, introduced the decks. So let's crack them out of our batch. I'll start the game by drawing a card. I'll play the City of Brass. Then I'm going to cast a Chrome Mox. And if that resolves, I'm going to imprint this Spell Pierce to make a tap for blue. Then I'm going to take one damage and cast Ledger Shredder. Ooh. Ooh. I do like Ledger Shredder. Me too. Wow. And if that resolves, I'm going to pass the turn. Right on. Draw a card. I'm going to start with a Mana Crypt. No land. And an Ancient Den. Ooh, he, he juked me. <laughs> he juked me. <laughs> the Juka Bog. Um, and then we're going to play Rest in Peace. That's your second spell? Sure is. I would like to connive. Please Thanks for coming out. <laughs> I'm going to discard this Talisman of Indulgence, <clears throat> and I will put a counter on Ledger Shredder. Uh, could you exile it instead? Uh, uh, that's on cast. Yeah. Oh, right, right, yep. right. My bad. It'll stay in the graveyard. Well... When it ETBs, right, there's a trigger. Now it can go. I got yeah. a <laughs> Could you exile your graveyard? Uh, well, priority. Sure. Okay. 
Thank we'll you, Al yeah, Alex, for this yeah. great game that we're about to have, assuredly. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I'll Best draw time. a card. <laughs> uh, I've got this Blood Crypt, uh, and I might have mentioned it in the intro. Because it's in my opening hand, I've got a Ragavan. Ooh. Nimble Pilferer. Blood Crypt's good. I'm hoping it finds Disenchant off somebody's <laughs> library real quick. Uh, I will pass the turn. All right, well, I'm going to draw. I'm going to pay two off my Water Grave, go to 38. And I'm going to try to cast a uh, classic Mystic Remora. Oh, my oh. goodness. Uh, then I will pass the turn. Okay. I'm going to tap. I will draw a card. Play Misty Rainforest as my land for turn. And I'm going to crack it, going to 38. I'm going to get this Underground Sea. And I would like to move to combat. Aaron. Yeah, that's it for two. Pick two. In my second main, I'm going to pay one, cast this Imperial Seal. We'll get exiled to rest in peace. Trigger Mystic Remora. I will not pay. How convenient. Okay. Draw one. Imperial Seal, good? Good. Good. I'm going to put that card on top. I will lose two, going to 36. And that's going to be it for me. Okie dokie. We're going to untap, upkeep, and draw. What? You got a trigger in your upkeep, oh, friend. Oh, you're Thanks, right. Charlie. You're right. You're right. It's a game loss. Uh, we'll do Spike Feeders as damage. Whoa. That's what you Ow. get. <laughs> <You risk. laughs> we'll play this Plains as our land for turn. We'll tap one, two, three for Liberator Urza's Battle Thopter. Pass the turn. Okay. Untap. Mm -hmm. uh, draw. In the priority that I get in your draw step, mm -hmm. I'd like to flash in Esper Sentinel. He's oh. crazy for that one, sure. Rick. Uh -huh. Okay, you got it. Yep. Moving to my main phase one. Sure. <laughs> uh, it means Jim's uh, not going to have to pay some life, but I've got an Urborg Ooh, to move you on. I'm going to go to combat. No blocks. <laughs> I think it is you, realistically. I think I'm as likely to get something off of Aaron's deck that can deal with this, but you did tutor. So I will attack Jim LePage with a Ragavan Nimble Pilferer. Yeah, no blocks. I will take two going to 34. I have a Ragavan trigger. I'm going to make myself a treasure. You can have a Rushing River. <laughs> rushing River? Okay, That's a nice one. A land. Return target non land permanent is on his hand if you play Why Return rushing another. River? Okay. Hey, I'm sure I, it's got to be something to do with sacking something or something. Bouncing two things? No, well, it's mostly just because I wanted it gone. We can talk about this in the post game, sure. but it's mostly because I wanted it gone and it's my most expensive bounce spell. No, I'm just mm -hmm. worried. I'm curious why it's in the deck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like in a lot of decks lately. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I don't think I'm casting that this turn. What? <laughs> This card sucks. <laughs> it gets rid of rest in peace. For all of my mana. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> Elliot out here thinking he'd get a turn out. This is the last it. time I ever help you with anything. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, since Jim's didn't do anything, I'm going to try casting my own Imperial Seal. <laughs> Trigger Mystical Moor. Um, I'm not paying for it. Trigger Esper Sentinel. Yeah. Oh. Esper Sentinel happens first. Okay. So yeah. I think I am paying the one. I will pay the one okay. for the Sentinel. Okay. Uh, resolve Mystical Moor. Off of my Imperial Seal, I'm going to put this card on top of my library and lose oh, yeah. two life. Rushing River. <laughs> In my black red deck. Yep. 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 36. Um, and then I'm I'm just going to pass the turn and let this, this Rushing River go to waste. Stay. Wow. Oh, mine is also exiled, actually. Sorry. Yep. Embarrassing. Okay. Go ahead, Aaron. Untap, upkeep. That's an age counter. <gasps> on his first birthday? Wow. See you they later, so, nerd. They so drunker. rarely die on their first yeah, birthday. He's so young. <laughs> Living in Montreal now. <laughs> I would like to play a Technuma Abandoned Mire. Oh, wow. I have to add a black to cast Dark Ritual. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, Trigger Asper Sentinel. Uh, choose not to pay. Mm -hmm. Choose to draw. <clears throat> I, I feel like this is just Italian. Not that that's a really a, a just situation but i have no effects oh italian i thought you said italian Ital <laughs> what <laughs> <A> dark <laughs> under rich <laughs> yeah yeah oh uh, yeah you got a dark ritual all right um wow yours are exiled too buddy i'm keeping those ones for later uh out of blue <laughs> yeah uh i like to cast uh italian trigger ledger shredder yeah I would no like effects to the ledger shredder i'm gonna discard this tarnished citadel i counter it Oh, it's a land. No That's counter. a land, everybody. No, no counter. counter. Non lands only. Wow. Uh, Jim doesn't. He'll only read Italian. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
I will choose the number two. It's a good number. That is the number Mm -hmm. I've heard. And then I will pass. Okay. Uh, In your end step, I'm going to take one off of City of Brass, go to 33, and I will cast Vampiric Tutor. (laughs) Uh, Trigger Esper Sentinel, I will pay for it. Vampiric Tutor? Yeah. Good. Good. Pass on Tutor. Okay. I'm going to get this card to the top and lose two life, going to 31. Then I'll untap for my turn and draw. Oh, oh the one I put there earlier. Uh, I think I'm just going to pass the turn. He doesn't want me stealing a random card, but he's okay with Imperial sealing his rushing river. Hey, I offered you an out. Uh, we're gonna an f- out. Get in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do uh, Spike Theater's damage once again. Playing with power. Ooh. Must be nice. Planes his land for turn. Pay one, two, three for Heliod Sun Crown on the stack. Effects, effects, Pass effects. on. Uh, well, uh, well, actually, I got a Urza's Battle Thopter trigger. Also fine. Yeah, I'm going to respond. I probably should have main phased this on my turn. Okay. So, mm. well, yeah. I'm going to flash in Orcus Bowmasters. Mm. I have an Italian trigger. Oh, yeah. Uh, he did name to two. There's also an Esper Sentinel trigger. Oh, uh, no, there isn't no, an Esper Sentinel. There's not a non creature. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have no responses to Italian. Okay, you lose the life I draw card. Yep. I draw Uno. Effects to Bowmaster. I have I'm no effects. I'm hoping it's shooting Sentinel, so I got no effects. <laughs> I will also pass on Bowmaster. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pop the Esper Sentinel. That's yes. good. That's going to make me a 1 1 Orc Army. Mm-hmm. Liberator Trigger. Yep. Good. Heliod. Oh, yeah. Still on the yeah, stack. Yeah, Heliod on the stack. Uh, does he happen to be an artifact? <laughs> no. All right, pass. <laughs> yes. I will also pass. All right, if that's it, that's all. Pass the turn. Untap. Uh, draw for my turn. I've got Basic Swamp. Mm-hmm. Uh, my monkey is embarrassing. Oh, actually, this is only a creature if you've got Heck of Devotion. Uh, yeah, I need exactly three more Devotion. Ooh. Okay, I've got a, I've got a play, gamers. <laughs> Main phase, oh, yeah. this Abrade. Uh, choosing mode, destroy target artifact. In case you somehow pump it, and Ooh, my artifact yeah. choice will be Liberator. Yeah. Trigger Italian. Oh my god, it's Mana Valley. Two, two. I'm throwing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You lose two life. 34. Uh, this is going to trigger a Bowmaster. Yes. Bowmaster trigger. I no! will. <laughs> I got to pop Ragavan. Please. Yeah, I'm going to pop the Ragavan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you said this card was good? <laughs> no, he said it was new. Oh, uh, okay, right, right, right. <laughs> Which right, is right. also incorrect. Um, you have a thing too. Yes, I'm going to mass one. <laughs> and then a braid resolves destroying a liberator or his battle thopter. This is good. I okay, I'd this. like to go to combat. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's this? You know, it's been a while. It's okay, you yeah. know. <laughs> I'm going to pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to draw a card. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play my own City of Brass. And I'm going to start with the blue... Black, I'd like to cast Phantasmal Image. Mm. Oh, my bow masters. <laughs> hey, he he works out. for Aaron now. Hear me out. We can collude. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Judge? No, because at any, at any point, they just stare with guns pointed at each other. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want any of that. I want I want the only gun. Oh, so you're choosing Snitch. Yes. <laughs> you're surprised dilemma. that I chose <laughs> Snitch. <laughs> dilemma, Aaron. <laughs> uh, I got nothing to... to uh, actually, hang on. Ooh. I'm going to take one and cast Power Blast. <gasps> he may. Approved. 28. With it on the stack. That's the correct way to do it. Because otherwise, going he, to 28. he already mm. gets a trigger. I like to cast uh, Misdirection. My Ledger Shredder. <laughs> uh, you do <laughs> get a Ledger answer. Shredder yeah. trigger. I will I try to Power Blast Ledger Shredder instead. Okay, so, I have have, so mis- Misdirection is on the stack targeting yep. Power Blast. That triggers Ledger Shredder mm-hmm. on top of it. Yes. Uh, so I will connive. You got you it. May. Draw card. If there's one thing I've known about you, it's that you connive. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I'm going to bin this command tower. Oh, and yeah. Misdirection, uh, I'm going to pass on it. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, you are whoop. misdirecting Power Blast to Ledger Shredder. Yep. Ledger Shredder down. Phantasmal image Phantasmal on the stack. Phantasmal image on the stack. He's about to salt my field so nothing can grow. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's going to come to play surprisingly as an Orcish Bowmasters, uh, oh. who's then going to immediately shoot the Bowmasters. Wow. Yeah. So um, you make an army. Uh, yeah, I'm going to amass one army of my own. Okay. Amass one army of what? Orcs? Of uh, Orc Army. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, asking questions. That, that, that gets three. <laughs> <laughs> three? Pass. Untap. It's not like it's got indestructible. <laughs> Draw card. Uh, I'm gonna play this mana confluence. This one is much less painful, thanks for thanks yeah. to the uh, reward over there. That's combo. I everything I do is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's gonna be it for me. Go ahead. That's it. Okay. We're gonna untap, upkeep, and draw. Okay. I'm just gonna start making you take three. By the way. <laughs> How many game losses is that? At least two. Oh my goodness. Oh. You get you get away with it this time. Yeah, I do. McGregor. McGregor. <laughs> Play this planes as our land for turn. We're gonna tap two for Grim Monolith. I have an Italian trigger. Yeah, go for it. I'll draw. Uh, Grim Monolith resolves okay. and will pass the turn. We need a big one here, team. He's <laughs> <laughs> one card. You can croc some. That's crazy. Like trigger Italian. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything I do is wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we gotta go for it. It's. It is the one that I drew, and it is a nice one. So we're attempting to cast this Praetor's Grasp. Oh, oh we steal one of Alex's disenchants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will be targeting Alex. Literally just trying to play the game. <laughs> oh, my. Hey, wait, that helps. It's a three mana two-two Yeah, flyer. that's something. <laughs> you can have a wind drake. I, I will assemble a drake. <laughs> Or what is it? A mass? <laughs> he had a mass of 2-2 two, two, uh, bird. Two, two yeah. bird. And you take one from the city, I do. right? 35. 35? Okay. Pass the turn. Draw card. Play uh, Urza's Saga as my line for the turn. I'm going to move to combat. Yeah, I'm going to pass. <laughs> <laughs> Curses. Okay. Foiled oh, once again. Draw card. I'm going to tap two and cast this Talisman of Creativity. Italian trigger. Yep. This feel like two is like really, really good. It's. I think it's the number. Yeah. I think there, there was some... If you play it like turn one or like much sooner or a little sooner than... Then you probably want to do You one. probably name one. Yeah. But That's going to be for me. That one's fine. I'll pass. We're going to untap and in my upkeep, I'm going to flip this coin. That's good. Just like I raised him. That's following the rules. Uh, spikes his damage. He just like knew that it was going to come up nothing but playing with power <laughs> today or something. Yeah. And we'll draw a card. You may. Thank you. What a shame. Play a planes as land for turn. We're gonna pass the turn. Alrighty. Uh, another opportunity. <laughs> Big draw. Another draw phase. Oh, draw two. Uh, can I do that? No. Please? <laughs> Aaron's got to draw so many cards, right? Like <laughs> A couple. I've got a Scalding Tar. Ooh, do you think that's what you drew? I could have shuffled it around, you know, I could have <laughs> had some hidden information here, but I'm not that smart. <laughs> um, I have a block. You certainly do. I can give it lifelink. Would you give it lifelink if I attack you? <laughs> Maybe. Because I need this gone. And currently my way for this to be gone is attack you with this 16 times. <laughs> so I'm going to go to combat. Okay. Hey, Alex. Well, I'm not going to give a lifelink now. <laughs> you got to play your outs. 30. 30. I'm just going to pass. I'm just going to pass. going to pass. Yeah. All right, I have an enter effect. Oh, no. I was really hoping that you are going to fall for this. You did not. Other cast. Obsession agent. Oh, I'm so smart. <laughs> Any effects? No, I'm going to pass. I'm I gonna... have an effect. <laughs> no, just, I'd like to crack this scalding dart. Go to what a surprise. Oh, man. Man, I'm really glad I didn't do her. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> I'm going to find a Badlands. That's fair. Thank you. Uh, any other effects to opposition agent? Nope. Nope. Perfect. All right. Uh, then go to my turn. Mm -hmm. uh, draw. Urza's Saga. Urza's Saga goes to two. Uh, move to combat. Get him. Player removal, get right? Him. Get him. Yeah, get him. Be on my side for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I'll attack Alex. For five. Or six even. Six even. Okay. 24. Blue. Ouch for a blue. Uh, I like to put a counter balance on the stack. I yeah. got nothing for enchantments, as we have previously <laughs> discussed. <laughs> uh, if counterbalance is good, then I will pass. Okay. I'll untap. Draw a card. And I think I'm going to pass the turn. Okie dokie. We're going to draw a card. Even if you don't untap it, pal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In my upkeep, we're going to flip a coin. Spikes damage. 
Oh my goodness. Like, could you imagine? He's, he's he'd be at so like 12 good. if he'd taken he's some so damage good. here. Draw a card. Dang it. I need him to be dying. And he does it with grace and poise. <laughs> I Something like that anyway. Roy's even. <laughs> well, don't like that. Nope. <laughs> this is a planes. It's okay. Yeah. I won't come back again. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. We've held off long enough. We're going for it. He's going for it. Tap four. Ballista. X equals two. You have a counterbalance trigger? I do. Yeah, flip a four drop. Four. Four. She'll do the apocalypse one time. One time. Um, no. no. Okay. Huzzah. Well, imagine if it was zero. Yeah, you see. Right? <laughs> um, yeah. Well, he's just got them all, huh? Yeah. Like the exile delay and cast force will. Yep. 33. I'll pass on force of will. I will also pass. Uh, well, that's what I had. Alrighty. Let's pass it. Untap my bird. Draw a card. Go to combat. Attack Alex for two. Go to 22. And pass my turn. Wait, okay, and then we'll go to my turn here. Untap. Draw. Trigger a Urza Saga. I will add a mana before that happens. Um, sacrifice Urza Saga. I'm going to find a Soul Ring off of my Urza Saga, and then I'm going to play a March Flats as a land for the turn, going to 32 immediately. Unless I get uh, Counter Opposition Agented. Nope. Goodbye. Perfect. We'll find this Underground Sea. I think I'm just going to let take a mana burn from my Urza Saga, try to move to combat. Uh, Elliot, what are you at? 33. 33, Elliot. Oh, right. I made that mistake. I'm currently king of the castle. King of the castle. Perfect. Attack, okay. Elliot. Four, six. Yikes. 27. After that, I will pass. Oh, In no. your end step, I'm going to tap my mana conference uh, from its bird work ability mm -hmm. and flash in Notion Thief. Ooh. Trigger counterbalance. Yeah. Ooh, I have a four drop this time for sure. Children of the Apocalypse. Nope. Oh. No, unfortunate. So, yeah, I'll pass on this. It can resolve, but I have an effect before we keep, continue, keep going. Uh -huh. I'm going to add one, two, three. I like to cast uh, Shieldred's Edict. Each opponent sacrifices a non token creature. Uh, I have no effects. Yeah, good. Got yeah. him. Okay. Dead. And uh, this is my turn. Is that each opponent? Each opponent. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. I'll untap. Although, in effect, it's just me. Uh, I'll play this Flooded Strand. I think I'm just going to cast my commander. I will take one to do that. I'm going to trigger your Italian. Uh, yes. Oh my god, she's a 3-2 so, or something? 2-5. 2-5. Two, five. Two, five. Yeah, I'll go to 23. Um, please Let's give me the text on Evelyn. Okay, so it's got flash. Whenever Evelyn the Covetous or another vampire enters the battlefield under my control, exile the top card of each player's library with a collection counter on it. Once during my turn, I can play a card from exile with a collection counter on it. If it was exiled by an ability I controlled, and I may spend mana as though it were any color to cast it. A trigger counterbalance, I guess. Yeah, sorry, this is a trigger counterbalance. Add on, yeah. <laughs> wow. How about a gemstone okay. cavern? Okay. He's already used misdirection and force of will. <laughs> <laughs> I have one on the stack. Um, Approved. Yeah, I guess, yeah, you can have a gemstone like this one. Yeah, no fix. Okay. Should I have one exiles? Yeah, let's take a look. I've got a Verdant Catacombs. Lotus Petal. A Gemstone Caverns. Uh, mind Rake. Mind <laughs> Rake. <laughs> was that? Was that a Mind Rock? It's two and a black target player discards two cards, one and a black overload. <laughs> That's a Mind Rock. <laughs> it's a Mind Rock. That's nice. Interesting. Well, I've already uh, played my land for the turn, and I know that there's a land on the top of Aaron's library. You took it. Oh, I took it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast Lotus Petal. Trigger Counterbalance. Yep. Oh, oh never lucky. Uh, then that's going to be it for me. Okie dokie. Uh, in your end step, I'm going to pay four to untap Grim Monolith. Seems reasonable. Go to my turn. In my upkeep. Mana Crypt. Please. Please, please, please. Spikes damage. Oh. Yeah. 19. 19. 19. Hey. Uh, 10 more turns. <laughs> <laughs> Clock running. Emergent zone, land for turn, and pass. Untap. Drop. Uh, combat. 
Alex. 17. Uh, I've got an Arid Mesa, which is a nice Urborg, actually. It's a swamp mm -hmm. gaming. Go ahead. Sure. Go to my turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw a card. It's might be a burning catacombs. <laughs> Play underground river. Move to combat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Six at Elliot. Twenty-one. That's the age I turned this year. We I'll believe pass. you. Okay, I'm gonna untap. I will draw one card. I'm gonna tap three to cast Mind Rake, targeting Aaron. Ooh, targeting is nice. I thought he was gonna make us all ship. I have two cards in my hand. So. Oh, oh. <laughs> greedy, greedy <laughs> goblin. Um, I trigger counterbalance. Yep. Ooh, I have sure. that card. Three. Two, Ooh. two. Okay, Liliana's Triumph. Yeah. It's another edict. It right? is another edict. Sure, this one can resolve. Discard. That's right. It is. Verdant Catacombs, Chain of Vapor. Ooh. Okay. 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 Uh, I think I'm just going to pass the turn at that point. Okie dokie. Let's see if I'm dead. <laughs> Please keep being dead. Yes! Ooh. 14. 14. Okay. Now I have to get you to zero before Aaron gets me to zero, though. <laughs> and he's doing six at a time. I say, it's a, it's a little rough. Draw a card. It's a race. We'll play War Room as our land for turn. Oh, that's kind of, a, kind of a nice one. And we'll go ahead and pay three and tap this to pay one life to go to 13. To draw a card. Draw a Bowmaster. Bowmaster trigger after you draw the card. Shoot the gym. Ah. Okay, 22. Yeah. We'll pay two for Grand Abolisher. Mm. Trigger Italian, trigger counterbalance. Yes. Uh, resolve counterbalance first. Okay. Yep. Uh, resolve Italian. Go yep. for it. Lose to life. Forgot about that. 11. Uh, 11. Man, that was the punt of the century. Let's pass the turn before I do anything stupider. Uh, I could punt if you'd like. We could yeah, give him a fun. land here. Untap. Uh, draw. I've also got a Marsh Flats. It's a lot of swamps. <laughs> nice swamps. Some fancy swamps. Yeah, gaming. Combat. Mm -hmm. Alex. Go to nine. Uh, man, look at all of these cards I could escape if they were in my graveyard. You're They've already been escaped. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> they are escaping. All right. It, I think it's time. I have enough lands that uh, I think hard casting this is fine. <laughs> Simeon Spirit Guide. <laughs> trigger Italian, oh, trigger counterbalance. You got it. Well, that's going to get countered. Oh, okay. 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 Resolve the Italian. Yeah. Italian um, goes to 19. 19. I should probably draw the card first. You don't know what all the cards in my hand are. But... Pass. Uh, that's fine. Okay, go to my turn. Thought about edicting, but I don't think it's worth it. Uh, I'm gonna cast uh, play a Cavern of Souls. Mm -hmm. I'll name Fairy. He's at nine, brother. <laughs> Comrade. Yeah, him dying is maybe bad for me because what? of you. No. <laughs> sure, they <laughs> not. Attack uh, Elliot for five. Oh my god. Well, uh, two's on the ground. Two on the ground? Yeah. Well, I don't think I'm trading with that thing that replaces itself in theory, <laughs> so I'm going to 14. Sure. Uh, then now we'll pass. Okay. I'm gonna untap, draw a card. I'm going to cast a Lotus Petal. Big Turn. money. Counter rounds. Yep. Ooh. That card's already good. One drop, stop flying. <laughs> gotcha. Right. This card, uh, card to put in post grave for anyway. Yeah, is, this, is this replacement effect? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, put your position. Real good right now. Okay. Uh, Lotus Petal on the sack. It's yeah, good. Pass. I'm going to play this Verdant Catacombs. I can play it, right? Yep. Then I'm going to pass the turn. Sounds good. Uh, I'm going to tap and untap Grand Model several times in your end step. So yeah. you can get untapped. All results. <laughs> in my upkeep. A Ooh, no damage. Always lucky. Always lucky, never. <laughs> only, <laughs> only never lucky twice. <laughs> That's what they say, right? You know what? what? Say. We're going to once again pay three and a life going to eight. Draw a card. Uh, Bullmaster. Go for it. I'm going to hit Elliot this time. 13. Uh, we'll play Urza's Saga as our land for turn. Tick up one. And since we're on that control plan, apparently, we're going to go ahead and play Deafening Silence. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like any, any part of that. That's I'm just okay. going to pay two life for a middle match then. Okay, sure. Seems good. 30. Uh, 30. Uh, well, I feel like I accomplished everything I set out to do this turn, so I'm going to pass the turn. <laughs> All right. Any effects? I didn't even resolve my caramels. I'm just an idiot. Hey. Do I have to reveal? No. Uh, you may reveal. Yeah. No, you don't. You don't have to. All right. Good. I chose not to. Let the record show. Smart. That's fine. <laughs> Smart. All righty. Untap. Mm -hmm. Upkeep. Combat. Mm -hmm. Alex. <laughs> uh, I'm going to Liliana's triumph Dang here it. now. Each opponent, please sacrifice a creature. Yeah, I'm good at that. Simeon Spirit Guide down. Avalon to Commands Yeah, that's probably less good than the Commands Oh, trust me, card. Let's go. <laughs> uh, two to Alex. Go to six. Go to six. Uh, yeah, pass the turn. On top. Draw. Oh, right. Right. We, we knew it was an Ascension, too. I could have counted the Definix. You know what? <laughs> we all make mistakes, you know? True. Attack. I sh surely have not made any this game. <laughs> Attack Elliot for nine. Nine now? Yeah, nine. Go to four. Um, do I need this card in my hand? Am I going to get mine rotted more by Elliot? Probably. A bunch of attention to do it. Wouldn't it be great if I drew something? I'll pass. In your end step. Yeah. Pay two, three, four, five, six. That's a lot. Seven. Take one. Go to 21. I don't like what's happening here. Well, I think it's just. Evelyn. I will cast that one. This card is Flash? Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good thing I wrote that card. Uh, trigger. Trigger counterbalance. Uh, yeah. And do I Italian. I'm going to resolve Italian first. Okay. Sure. I'll go to 19. Yeah. I want you to see the cards I'm drawing. They're all mysteries. <laughs> um, Evelyn on the stack. Counterbalance. Oh, counterbalance. Sure. You can try it. Maybe it's five, right? Yeah. Fives. Awkward. Um, still on the stack. Colorless blue cast dress down. Dress down. Oh, that's a good one. I'm gonna cast Pact of Negation. Trigger. Yeah, trigger. yeah counter rounds. Right. Still can yeah, counter. Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> um Pact of Negation. I guess I know what this is, so I will pack negation. You're oh. pact of negation my Evelyn, I assume? Yeah. Uh okay. So your pact is going to resolve. Mm -hmm. It will counter Evelyn. My pact will counter your dress down. Uh yes. Yep. We go to my turn? Yes. Untap. Upkeep, I will pay for Pact of Negation. Ah, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> that, I that think that's it. my out for Jim. Oh, her, her one out. <laughs> uh, okay, Pact is now paid for. I tell you, they mm. both don't pay for Pact, we win. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> How do I strip mine Aaron four times? <laughs> Couple times. I'll draw a card for my turn. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to pass. Okie dokie, we're going to untap. During my upkeep, we're going to flip. This one doesn't even do anything for me, you know? Ooh, three. Three. Do I have a way to deal one to Alex? Better find a way before I deal you a million. Oh uh, we're going to take up Urza's Saga, draw oh, a card. Draw, if you draw a card, I can ping him. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to ping him. You gave me hope. We're play planes. <laughs> we're going to tap and pay two to make a construct. And so he's currently a... One, two, three, four. Four. Yep. four, four. Four, four. Okay. okay, seems good. It's pretty big. Yeah, it's not bad. That's it. That's all. Pass the turn. I have a funny play to attempt to make here, and okay. I think I'm attempting to make it now. Okay. Mm -hmm. My play is to attempt to cast this Rakdos charm in Alex's end step. <laughs> Choosing life. mode, each creature deals one damage to its controller. <laughs> uh... I have an Italian trigger and a counterbalance trigger. This yes. Sick. I will do. go to resolve. I will stack it in, in, in so counterbalance, Italian, Italian resolve first. Okay. Okay. Elliot uh, goes to two. <laughs> go to two. It is not countered. Vampiric, vampiric shooter on top. Okay. So now Rakdos charm on the stack? Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, Priority? Pass on. I am also charm. passing. I will activate Heliod. That's very funny. Give it To give one. this lifelink. That's super funny. It's a shame. Super, uh, super funny. It does some damage to Aaron. It does. And me. Okay. <laughs> Great. It's got so my I'm, I'm losing I'll four go to here. two and then go back to three. Uh, you don't. Oh, right. It happens at the same time. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. I forgot about that. Uh, so, so I'm taking four to 26. 26. Ellie goes to one. Uh, Alex stays at three and I go to 18. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I got a Heliod trigger. Cool. All right. 
untap. Yeah, it was cool play though. Well, okay, so it could have been, except for the fact that I was already at four, uh, and I forgot that Talion does two damage to me every time. It does yeah. do that. So casting this meant that I couldn't win anyway. <laughs> right. Even if I get rid of this now. Unlucky. Because my spells trigger Talion. Right. <laughs> um, if you punch Aaron, I'll give it lifelink. <laughs> <laughs> so that's funny. Sure. It's an it's an out, right? Go mm -hmm. to combat. Yeah. Attack Aaron for two. Uh, nice. Before damage, I'll go ahead and give the bird lifelink. You got it. Great. Right. So Aaron goes to 24. Aaron goes back up to three. You to three. It. I get to cast an additional spell, potentially. You get one whole spell. Poggers. That's crazy. Yeah, pass. <laughs> Untap. Packed trigger. Very important. Oh, right. I was going to try to strip mine a bunch things. of times. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Blue. It's blue, blue, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I do need a second. Awkward one. blue, blue. All right, pay for packs. No lose the game, please. Okay, okay. approved. Cool. Unfortunate. Very. Draw a card you all don't know about. Suddenly, maybe relevant. Blood Chief Ascension. I will move to combat. Yep, yeah, yep. I will try to attack Alex for three flying and uh, Elliot three on the ground. <laughs> oh, yes. so uh, clinging about it. Yeah, this one. Yeah. And then Jim for three. Three's everyone, three's all around. All right. Which one are you attacking me with? This one. Okay. This one's coming at you. This one's going at uh, Yeah, I've got no blocks. Okay. Uh, I'd like to cast this in Tomb. Not, sure actually, not sure. actually, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to 15. Alex and Elliot are both dead. Going to zero. I had Entomb Animate dead in my hand since oh. turn two. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, I will pass. Okay. Untap. Drop. I will pass the turn. Sure. Go to my turn. It's not looking good for our hero. Untap. In this case, Jim is our hero. By the oh. way. Is he? Oh. Yeah. Has to be. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Draw. Can't be the guy that killed us, right? Well, rest in peace killed you. Mm. Alex was never my hero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, play a Manamo for the turn. Yep. And then I'll move combat. Yep. Um, I'll send six at you. I will take six. Go to nine. I will pass. Okay. I will draw a card. What's Blood Chief trigger off of? Uh, two life. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, uh, whatever. Oh, yeah, so it long. should be at two. Aha! Because uh, Alex and Elliot. Right. Uh, oh. Yeah. Died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be cool. We caught it. Yeah, yeah, eventually. We totally caught it. I totally know what my cards do. Yep. I will uh, take... Uh, yeah, I'll take one. Go to eight. And cast Dragon Rake Channeler. Ooh, so surveil does something now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, if I could trigger it. <laughs> uh, uh, that's going to be it for me. I'll pass. On the, you know what? Would I have counterbalanced it? Wouldn't have. Didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's coming? Yep. Send in these guys again. I will go to two. That's a dangerous number with my Blood Chief Ascension slash Talion combination. Oh yeah, Blood Chief Ascension is <laughs> online at the end of your turn. Yeah. That's going to be it. Yeah. That's I can't, I can't do anything after that. Yeah. Is oh, he Big had game. us under eye. Finished the game with oh, Dance of the Dead and Fast as Oracle. And oh, me. I had, um, so I had the Oracle most of the game, but then I had the Red Pure Tutor. But the really awkward part if you're trying to the Oracle win with Talion in play is oh. Uh, oh, they yeah, can make me draw a card in response. To That's the, very funny. So like you play Fast as Oracle, blah, 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 Dwanic Constitution, they yeah. force you to draw, you lose. Yeah, right. <laughs> very fun. Which has happened to me. It's not optional. Yeah, right? It happened to me in uh, Vegas. That's wild. You <laughs> could get um, specifically tainted packed and then leave a couple, right? Because you've got Thoracle counterbalance. Yeah, yeah. You, could, you could like could leave two cards or something. That's funny. Yeah. But yeah, I, you didn't need to, right? You were just attacking and whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah just, just oh, attacking. Man. Up. Yeah, I like you. <laughs> Sorry, oh. you're, you're out of practice. <laughs> well, that, yeah. Well, we can blame it on that, sure. Instead of <laughs> hating my friend Alex for the rest of the day. <laughs> well, this Ragavan play did yourself, you know. Uh, I gave you the out. I gave you the out. You, this this was interesting. I thought I actually thought that I played the beginning of that game really loose, uh, mm. and I tightened up significantly throughout the game. But I, I honestly, in my heart of hearts, thought Elliot was going to rushing river. I was like, yeah. you know what? This is fine. I like help Elliot out a little bit, but you know, it'll cost him. It'll mm. it'll be like a Faustian bargain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but he didn't take it. And so that just ended up with me burning a tutor for no reason. Right. And then, like, I, I had an opening hand that was pretty strong. 
I had the Chrome Mox, I had the Ledger Shredder, and I had Double Tutor. I had Seal mm -hmm. Vampiric yeah. Tutor. I'm like, this is a good opener, you know, mm -hmm. with a couple lands. Um, but then after that, uh, <laughs> I'm just sitting there like I vamp tutored for the Bowmasters, and then with the Bowmasters gone, I'm sitting with one card in hand and no way to draw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I lied. I had Ballista from turn one. I never yeah. had a tutor. I was just looking to see what else was going on on the field, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I drew... Eight lands that game. You had a lot of planes to play, <laughs> for yeah, sure. I drew eight lands that game, and you, this deck can't work that way. Yeah. So, um, I thought going for it where I did was about the best spot I was ever going to have. I had no blue Definitely. mana up and four yeah. cards at that point. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so either either, either you had it or you didn't, and yeah. that's yeah. all there was to it. Um, I think that was my only realistic out because after that, if you did have the counter magic there, mm -hmm. it means you've got one less counter magic, and maybe I can top deck Triskelion. Mm -hmm. uh, but that was my that was my only line. Uh -oh. Yeah. Yeah, talent's really good. Like once it, once it gets going, like I'm able to like one for one my opponents a lot more confidently because I can just keep my hand full of points. Yeah. So even though I was like force willing, misdirecting and stuff like that, like yeah. I still had four or five cards in my hand most of the time anyway. Yeah. Uh, I, like, yeah. I, I was sitting with like a talisman. Well, Jim has uh, two, like Crocs. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. Right. Like, <laughs> oh, two is such a good number. That card's crazy. Yeah, I tried to claw my way back with Evelyn, like late, 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 but that uh, little counter magic war, yeah. that was the nail in the coffin, I think. Yeah. Well, if you want to put the nail in the coffin of what kind of products you should go buy today, head down to your local game store and check out GameGenic products. Oh, okay. They've got everything from sleeves to deck boxes to playmats, and they can hook you up. And if your local game store doesn't have GameGenic products, just ask for them. They can probably get them in for you. In the meantime, you're going to see some names scrolling past my face over here. Those are our patrons. They keep the lights on around here, and we're super, super grateful that they are around. We just want to say, if you want to join their illustrious ranks, you can do so for as little as one US dollar down below in the doobly-doo. That's right there at patreon.com slash spikefeeders. <laughs> if you like these fancy dice, we sell those. You can find those at spikefeeders.com slash shop. In the meantime, we just want to say thanks again for watching, and have a great day.